Hey, Ryzen here. Say goodbye to verbose try catch blocks in TypeScript. In this video, I'll introduce you to the attempt function, a cleaner, more functional approach to error handling that has transformed how I write defensive code. This simple yet powerful utility encapsulates the try catch pattern into a reusable function that improves both readability and maintainability. You can find the complete implementation in my open source Resin Kit repository linked in the description. Traditional try catch blocks often lead to clutter, difficult to follow code. They force error handling to the end of execution flow, which can be counterintuitive when you want to handle errors first. Sometimes you just need a fallback value if an operation fails without complex error handling logic. Languages like Go implement this pattern as a core feature returning both a result and an error that can be checked immediately. The temp function brings this cleaner approach to TypeScript allowing for more concise code that separate the happy path from error handling in a structured, readable way. The attempt function returns a result type, which can be either a success or a failure. This discriminated union leverages TypeScript's type narrowing capabilities to provide type safety throughout your error handling flow. When you check for the presence of an error property, TypeScript automatically narrows the type, ensuring that in the error case, data is unavailable, while in the success case, data is guaranteed to be present and properly typed, not just T or undefined, but exactly T. This eliminates the need for additional checks or non-null assertions that often plague traditional error handling approaches. The real power of attempt comes from its three function overloads, each designed to handle a different common scenario in modern TypeScript applications. The first overload accepts a function that returns a promise, perfect for wrapping asynchronous operations like API calls or database queries. The second handles synchronous functions that might throw exceptions such as parsing JSON or accessing potentially undefined properties. The third overload accepts a promise directly, allowing you to wrap already created promises without defining an additional function. This flexibility means you can use the same consistent error handling pattern regardless of whether you are working with synchronous or asynchronous code, making your code base more uniform and predictable. The implementation of attempt ensures that all three overloads are handled with a single function body. It first checks if the input is a function using a type guard. If it is, it executes the function within a try catch block, capturing any synchronous exceptions. If the function returns a promise, it recursively calls attempt on that promise to handle asynchronous errors. For direct promise inputs, it attaches handlers that transform the resolved value or rejection reason into our result type. This unified approach ensures consistent error handling regardless of whether you're working with synchronous functions, asynchronous functions, or raw promises, or while maintaining proper type information throughout. To support this implementation, we need a helper function that can reliably detect if a value is a promise. The isPromise utility checks if a value has a then method, which is the defining characteristic of a promise-like object. While the attempt function provides a structured way to handle errors, you'll often want to extract the successful data or use a default value when operation fails, all in a single line of code. The this fallback utility is specifically designed to work with the result type returned by attempt, creating a powerful composition pattern. It takes a result object or a promise that resolves to one and a fallback value, then either extract the successful data or substitute the fallback when an error occurs. This pattern is particularly useful for operations like parsing JSON, where you want to provide a sensible default when parsing fails. Like attempt, this fallback handles both synchronous and asynchronous results throughout function overloads, maintaining the same functional approach to error handling throughout your code base. I hope this video convinced you that the attempt and this fallback utilities are a powerful and flexible way to handle errors in TypeScript. The attempt pattern transforms error handling from a verbose nested structure into a clean functional flow that improves code readability and maintainability. 
By returning strongly typed result objects, it leverages TypeScript's type system to ensure errors are handled consistently throughout your applications. I found this approach so valuable that I've integrated it as a cursor role in my development workflow, ensuring that all errors handling follow this pattern instead of traditional try-catch blocks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content on TypeScript and modern software development. See you in the next one.